it's not so much about basic research for us, it's about applied research. So the insights that Dr. Church and academics like him give the field are the point of departure for us. I mean, that, that sets the platform. And what we look for are uh, good ways to take that technology and put it to use for patients, ultimately. But it's not so much fundamental research as, as, as applied research that ultimately gets translated into the clinic and ultimately, we hope, will be used as a therapeutic. Truly novel technologies have a, a pretty good chance and, and the FDA takes them very seriously because they can, if you've got a, a, a blockade of lack of innovation, you're not going to be going fast. Ironically, the, 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 the really out of the box um, therapies have a good chance of completely changing the, the safety and efficacy spectrum. And also you need uh, to, to have conversations with groups that have the wherewithal to make um, global decisions. Even the FDA, there's certain things that they can't really undertake moral decision making, just safety and efficacy, and they can't do global decision making. So you need something like this. This is one of the closer approximations to that possibility. Well, what's special about this conference is the interdisciplinary nature, nature of it. You know, uh, over yesterday I had a chance to meet a number of folks. There's one person who is using, spending millions of his own dollars on eradicating malaria. Another person who's developing virtual reality goggles to cure eye diseases. And then you have folks like us who are doing gene editing. So I think having all these people from different walks of life on the technology spectrum mixed with folks who have that you know, viewpoint of a global sort of ethical and moral framework uh, in addition to sort of a, some of the policy people here uh, it is a good uh, mixture of, or meeting of the minds to, to consider advances like the ones we have in our hands and how that applies to society.